She stares at the towel left on the floor and remembers the countless times she has asked him to pick it up. She feels unloved. She feels unwanted. What must she do for her incompetent husband to hear her, she contemplates. So she turns, and with a mighty voice, she says, David, how many times have I told you not to leave your towel on the ground? He realizes his mistake, and fear trembles down his spine. How, he asks himself, how could he forget yet again? So he gathers his bearings, turns around and says, What? What? She asks herself. Did he really ask me what? She knows he heard her, and yet he has the audacity to ask what? And she gives him a look that even the depths of hell would fear. As he looks back with that dumb stare he has given her for years. And with a mighty voice, she says, You know exactly what I said. Don't play games with me, David. He knows, yet he contemplates continuing in his ignorance. He has the ability to apologize, but his pride is far too great. So he says, Oh, yeah, my towel. I forgot. You forgot? Typical of him, she thinks. He must be taught a lesson. He must suffer for the crimes he has committed against me. He must feel what I'm feeling in this moment. You are seriously so dumb. I have the dumbest husband. Like a knife to the heart of a man, his very soul is pierced. Dumb? After everything he does for his family, he is called dumb? He is disrespected and now, like a mighty lion, he must be let out of his cage. You have to be kidding me. It's just a towel. A stupid towel. If you want it off the floor so bad, then pick it up yourself. You're the worst husband ever. A kingdom divided from within cannot stand. He watches her walk away and does nothing. But then a thought. Maybe it wasn't about the towel. Maybe it was about an internal struggle within her. Maybe the towel represents who she is. And he, like the towel, continues to drop her. So he puts himself aside. And with a heart full of love, he says, Wait, T. I'm sorry. I... I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see that it wasn't about the towel. I didn't see that it was more about me as a man, me as a father, me as a husband. You want me to change. You want me to be better. And you know what? From this day forward, I will change. From this day forward, I'm going to give you the best version of myself and I'm going to love you with every fiber in my being. No, I just want you to pick up your towel. Oh. And? Can your friend stop narrating our lives? It's kind of weird and uncomfortable. Yeah, man. I feel like you made this situation a lot worse than it should have been. Sorry. I'll go now. Pick up that towel! <clears throat> okay, okay. Sorry. Ah, I forgot I have to order my mom a new toaster for her birthday tomorrow. Just buy it at the store then. Ah, but it's a specific one that's online only. Why don't you just use Amazon Prime? I'm sure you can get it tomorrow. Okay, let me check. Uh... Whoa! They do! It says right here I could even get a same-day delivery. See? Nothing to worry about. Wait, what's Amazon Prime and Beyond? I never heard of that. Yeah, I mean, it says right here that Amazon Prime is one-day delivery. Amazon Prime and Beyond is instant delivery, instant shipping, unlimited possibilities. <laughs> what does that even mean? I guess it means... Instant delivery. Yeah, that's not possible. Well, let me try. Go and ordered. What the? Did you order pizza? No. Okay. That's weird.
exactly what I ordered. <laughs> no way. You probably ordered that a few days ago and forgot about it. No, I I'm serious. It it it's exactly what I just ordered. What? Okay, order something else. Fine. Wait. Leave the door open. Good idea. Okay, um, and... Ordered. You see anything? No, I don't see anything. I guess I really did order it before. I guess so. David? Whoa! Whoa! No! No! What?! How did this even happen? I don't know. I'm gonna order something else. What? No, no, why would you do that? I have to find out what's going on. David, they're probably in the house right now. Well, the only way to find out is if we order something else and we catch them. Okay, do it. But if we don't catch them, that's it, we're done. No more. Okay, I'm gonna order multiple items to see if I can throw them off. All right, sounds good. Um, this and this and, oh, that's, that's actually really nice. And this, and, uh, ordered. Uh, I don't see anything, do you? David? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I actually really needed this one. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I see it. Did you see anything? I can't describe it. Isaiah, talk to me! I saw... Isaiah, snap out of it! Stop slapping me! Go back to me! I was never gone! That's not bad. Everything just happened so fast. Like it was instant. Exactly. Shut all the windows, lock all the doors now! Freaking out. They're in our homes, they're in our, our minds, everywhere. The stuff. What? I said we could return it. Let's just return it and get rid of them for good. You think that'll work? I don't know what else to do. Okay. And, uh, here we go. And reach in. Nothing's happening. The stuff is still here. Well, maybe. Uh, what was that? We need to get out of here. Nothing, just talking about birds. Oh yeah, well, uh, what kind of birds? All of them? They're majestic creatures, you know? That's the best you can do. I'm sorry. Andale, burro. Pónganse a lanchar. I was hungry. Oh, no thank you, I'm fine. ¿Qué? Um, no, no gracias. Dude, what are you doing? I don't want the food. Well, you might as well come in here and spit all over my mom's floor if you're gonna reject her food like that. ¿Qué tiene tu amigo? No sé. Andale, sí, coma. Yo, yo no quiero the food. ¿Qué? Hey, wait, 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 no, no, mamá, no, 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 no. Entonces los chanclazos te los voy a dar a ti, este flaco lumbriciento que se cree. Okay, it's fine. Wait. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on a diet. Ma, está dieta. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Si tiene cuerpo de nadador, nada por delante, nada por atrás, pura calavera que es. Yeah! How are you gonna disrespect my mom's cooking like that? David, I only eat organic food. I eat, I eat healthy. Oh, okay. Madre, no más come saludable. ¿Qué? Pues si esto es saludable, mira tus vegetables, tu chile, tu beans. Vegetables, chili beans. I'm sorry, I can't eat this. Come on, man, just take a little nipple. I'm on my your side. It didn't look like it. Besides, if I eat this, I'm gonna get gassy. Más que se echa pedos. Oh, no pedos, no worry, be happy, this is good for you. Oh, sweet. Let's give it a try. It's probably the best food I've ever had. Oh! That was the worst choice I've ever made. Oh. Pan con cafecito? Oh, no. Okay, Juan, what is it? 
I have a business idea to pitch to you. All right, let's hear it. I'm giving you the opportunity to invest in my multi-billion dollar idea. Don't you think that's a bold statement? I could tell you, but it's better that I show you. Hey, wait, isn't that my laptop? Please save your questions until after the presentation. Hello there! Hello! Hey man, how you doing? I'm good, I'm just really hoping my business takes off. Hey, I'm sure it will. Have you been losing weight because you look good? Yeah, I did. You know what? I joined one of those pyramid schemes where they sell shakes and it's been really working for this me. This part of the sales pitch? <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you later, okay? You do you, boo. Let's get into it. You ever wanted to eat an apple and you wanted to cut it into pieces, but it was just too hard and difficult and you struggled and you struggled and then that led to hospital bills, that led to your house being taken away from you, your cars being taken away from you because you couldn't afford to pay any of the bills. Well, I have a solution for you. The apple cutter, where it is now safe and easy for you to cut an apple. Don't miss out on this opportunity for the next big thing. Wow, that was amazing. What do you think? I've actually never seen anyone chop their hand off while trying to cut an apple. Well then you've never lived. That doesn't even make any sense. Look Juan, this is a horrible business idea. And besides, there's already an apple cutter out there that works perfectly fine. They told me there would be haters. I'm not even hating. I'm just stating facts. I'm telling you the truth. Listen David, to tell you the truth, I cannot leave here until you invest in this idea. Because I could not live with myself letting you run away from an opportunity like this. Okay. Listen, Juan, if I give you a hundred dollars, will you please just let all of this go? Do you think I'm just gonna give away my dream for a hundred dollars? I have cash. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, Juan, now promise me you're gonna take that hundred dollars and you're gonna go invest that in a new and good business. Totally. I'm gonna take these hundred dollars and I'm going to... Juan. 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 Oops. Wait, Juan, find me in the lope. All right, so all we gotta do is find clues to escape this room. Well, then it's a good thing I brought my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> really? What? Do you see a clue? <laughs> you seriously brought clues? Yeah. We're in an escape room. Blues, clues, blues, clues. Whoa. Don't you find something? Yeah, but I don't know what it means. Nice, dude, that's the test right. Maybe it's a uh, space or uh, the space posters. Maybe there's some sort of code or something. Um, Isaiah? Yeah. What kind of escape room is this? I don't know, but we need to get out of here. That is the way out. I just opened that portal. Oh, hey. I'm free. What do you mean free? I've been in this escape room for a thousand years. He must have not had a hand to dandy notebook. Thank you for freeing me. Now I must do what I was always meant to do. What is that? Destroy the multiverse. Okay, that was nuts. I have to stop him. What? I, no! This is far above us! We have nothing to do with this! This is my calling. No, it is not your calling. This is an escape room we just happen to be in. I, uh... I have to go. What day? No! What is going on right now? Have you seen my dad? What? Who are you? How'd you even get in here? I just need my dad. Listen, kid, I can use my dad right about now, too. Oh, no. They found me. Who found you? Give me the child. Yeah, man, don't gotta tell me twice. What? Isaiah? Uh, yeah? You must stand trial for the destruction of the multiverse. For what? You're coming with me. No, he's not. 
dead. David? Yes, I have returned. Uh, where did you go? There's no time to explain. Son, you need to go tell the multiverse of what has taken place here today. They'll tell stories of you forever, Papa. I love you, my son. Me too. Right. That is so weird. Huh? You have been judged. And now, you must be terminated. It's been a long time since our last battle. It was not much of a battle. I just want to go home. I have seen the multiverse. And I have become one with it. seems real easy for everyone to come and go except me. Isaiah, I am not here to hurt you. I am here to set you free. What, you, you mean I can go? Yes, but you must fulfill your destiny. I have a destiny now? When your friend found the Tesseract, it released an unimaginable terror on the multiverse. None of this makes any sense. You are the savior of the multiverse. Now take this and save us all. That is the sword Excalibur, enchanted with the powers of the Infinity Stone. This is my destiny. Ah! Isaiah. I got you. Oh, dang it! Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Come on in. Man. So, have you played Super Fight? No. <laughs> You're missing out. Sam would always play with Jonathan. Who's that? Oh, it's just one of Sam's personal trainers. A bodybuilder just whipped. Huge mountain buff man. <laughs> He's probably on steroids though, to be honest. Not a good guy. David, you didn't tell me that Sam and her boyfriend were coming over today. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to play Super Fight like old times. Can I talk to you for a second? We can play Uno too. I mean, that's, that's that's a fun game. David, can you help me with something back here? I know what this is about. Probably forgot to fold my underwear again. Stop, David. Why did you invite them? I don't know. I was bored and I missed Jonathan. David, Jonathan is gone, and Isaiah has nothing but a rebound. That's racist. How is that racist? Isaiah doesn't even play basketball. That's not what I meant. I meant Sam doesn't even care about Isaiah. You're right, I mean, she did give him Jonathan's hat. She gave Isaiah Jonathan's hat for his tiny you. head. <laughs> I know, that guy is so small compared to Jonathan. I mean, like, his whole body is one of Jonathan's biceps. It's like going from Thor to Tiny Tim. <laughs> he does look like Tiny Tim. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, you know what? Actually, um, can you check out my rash really quick? Like, I know it's weird, but it's getting bigger. Out. I'm sure it'll stick around longer than Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's make an excuse and just kick him out. Yeah, let's do it. Right, come on. Who are you dating? A Greek god? I mean... Oh, hey guys. Uh, just really quick. Uh, something came up and uh, we're gonna have to cancel this game night. Sorry. Gotta get that rash checked out? Yep. Uh, wait. How did you... Well, Jonathan's my doctor. What do you do, buddy? Oh, do you need a ride? Uncle Juan, I really want to learn karate, but no one would teach me. Do you know karate? Eduardo Sunny. Of course. But you know what? Karate takes a lot of work. And it, you're going to do a lot of training, and it's going to seem super unnecessary. It's almost going to seem like you have a job, and you're like working for me. But just remember, you're learning karate, and it's necessary. Okay, what you gotta do is you gotta wash this car, and you gotta wax on, and you gotta wax off. How is this gonna teach you karate? Don't worry about it, just, just get to work. Car wash, $10. Car wash.
What? Come on, we got customers. I mean trainers. Hurry up. Car wash. I don't understand how this helps me with karate. Eduardo, son. This is like for cardio and stuff. Come on, let's go. Paletas, paletas. Uno cuarenta y cinco. Paletas, paletas. How is this supposed to be helping? It's, uh, it's for your core. Come on, man. You should know these. Okay, there's no way this is helping me with karate. You know what? You got me. I just really wanted you to wash my dishes. Uncle Juan, there's a tournament this weekend. Uh, you're gonna be ready, but you gotta do a couple of more chores. I mean, training. Stop with your games. I need a karate gi. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Eduardo, son. Remember everything that I taught you. But you didn't teach me anything. Okay, you know what? Stop with the technicalities. Go out there and win. Okay, I want a good, clean fight. This doesn't seem like a legit organization. It is. Okay, ready, set, go! Two points! Yes! Ah, dang it! Ah, no much. Come on! Get back into it! One more point and we have a winner. Okay, ready, go! Oh, yes! Woo! I did not see that gun! Good job, man! But be careful with your hands because you still gotta watch a couple of guards. Okay, I don't know how this point system works, but next point wins. Okay, ready, set, go! And the winner is Eduardo! Yes! I'm proud of you, Eduardo. I really doubted you were gonna pull that off. Really? Anyways, there is so much more for you to learn. Like, so many more, like, exercises, and you're gonna be like, Am I done with my training now? No. Don't you want to be a karate black belt? Yes. Okay then. Oh, and when you're done with the floors, uh, finish the bathroom. Hey Carlos, you got an ibuprofen or something? My head is killing me. Nah, Holmes, but I got something better. Oh, I like the sound of that. I got these essential oils. You a pastor now, fool? Nah, fool. Not anointing oils. Essential oils. What are essential oils? It's like a compound extracted from plants. Is that even legal, fool? Yeah, it's legal. It's way better for you, too. Okay, then, compa. Hook me up. I got you, I say. I got this peppermint oils. How much does this run for, fool? It's about 50 bucks. What, fool? Is that what they poured on Jesus' feet? Nah, hey, it's just really potent. Watch. Okay, man. Hey, how's that feel? To be honest, it feels like my temple and my eyeballs are on fire, fool. Hey, that just means it's working, eh? <sighs> There's nothing essential about these oils, they say. What's up, homies? I got the food for the kickback today. Did you grab my gluten-free buns, I say? I got you, I say. What are gluten-free buns? Get this. It's like buns without the gluten. Gluten-free buns. Okay. But what is gluten? To be honest, I really don't know. I just know it's bad for you. Is there gluten in essential oils? Nah, nah, nah. Hey, gluten is a protein found in wheat, and it's like, bad for you. Okay then, well at least tell me you got me regular buns. Nah, fool, you don't want none of that. I got lettuce though, I can make your mean lettuce red. What, do I look like a freaking conejo, fool? Hey, hey, relax, Jaime. I mean, we just looking out for you. You're stressing me out, that's what you're doing, fool. I got an essential oil for stress, Holmes. Do you have an essential oil for being stupid? I actually do. Oh my goodness, okay, you know what, just give me a soda or something. Hey, fool, take this. Thanks, fool. Man, I was thirsty. What is this? It tastes like straight cut pee! It's kombucha. What did you call me, fool? Nah, I said it's kombucha. Hey, no one's kombucha, I say. Nah, fool. I'm saying the drink is kombucha, not you. Oh, you're right, man. This one's rotten or something. This is straight kombucha. Man, do you, do you even know what kombucha is? Isn't it the opposite of Hakuna Matara? Nah, fool. Kombucha is a fermented drink. You fermented gut pee? No, it's a, it's a healthy drink, fool. <sighs> Come on, man. Stop giving me your brujeria potions, fool. Hey, Jaime, you want some celery juice? You're selling me juice? No, nah, celery juice. Hillary's goose? Nah, fool. Celery juice. It's like juice, but like celeries. You're telling me that you're juicing celery sticks? Yeah, it's good for you, fool. Come on, fool. What's next? We're gonna start milking almonds? <laughs> almonds. I mean, you don't actually milk the almonds like you would a cow. Are you serious, fool? Uh, yeah. That actually sounds pretty good, fool. Let me get some almonds. I got you, Holmes.